Hi guys, what is up? Jana here. I'm a student blogger and vlogger for College Express. And today I'm gonna to be telling you why you should write a letter to your future self. So here in my hands, I have a letter that I wrote to myself one year ago after I finished high school. And I told myself I could open it upon completing my freshman year of college. <gasps> ah, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> wow, this is long. <laughs> Dang. I was funny. <sighs> oh my gosh, I was so wise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. The very last line is just let the good times keep rolling. Love me. <sighs> that was so intense and funny and enlightening and amazing. Um I am really, really glad that I wrote that to myself a year ago. And it's so incredible reading it now because all of the dreams that I had for myself at that time, you know, the things that I wrote down, it's like all those dreams came true and more. I mean, college just lived up to every expectation that I had and exceeded it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now let's get into why you should write one of these to yourself. For a high school senior that just graduated and are gonna start college next year, hopefully, even if it is online, I would suggest writing one of these letters to yourself because I think it's a really great way for you to assess where you're at in your life right now and think about where you wanna go. You know, I started this letter off by just sort of describing how I felt about graduating high school and how I was so excited for my summer and how I was gonna spend it. And I made a list of things that I was thinking just so that in the future I could look at it and then kind of laugh and be like, oh, well, that ended up being not the case. Or, oh yeah, I did end up doing that, you know? So I wrote like what I was planning on majoring in and what I wanted to do in college in terms of extracurriculars and what I was afraid of, what I was excited for. I wrote that I was nervous about joining a sorority and that ended up being one of the most positive experiences of my freshman year. I wrote about how I wanted to get a job and how I had no idea what I was gonna do or if that was gonna work out. And it did end up working out. I got an incredible job. Just things like that, you know, it's fun to write about those, those fears because when you read back later, you're gonna realize that everything you were worried about, you didn't need to worry about. It all is gonna work out. And I also wrote about the things I was excited for and all those things ended up being absolutely amazing and wonderful. And I'm glad I was excited for them because they were some of the most life-changing experiences I had. I just wish I could like go back in time by a year, just give her a big hug and be like, oh, it's gonna be so fun. And just tell her that everything was amazing. You are the only person in the world that knows your life story. I mean, you just know yourself better than anyone else does. And so in a way, getting a letter from yourself is the greatest gift that I think we can receive as people because it's like getting a letter from someone who understands us and who knows our fears, who knows our ambitions. And that's kind of amazing, you know? And sometimes we don't think we have interesting things to say or, or good advice for ourselves, but when we kind of get out of that and take it from a third party perspective where we're writing a letter to ourselves, and then we read that as if it was someone else talking to us, we can actually start to see how smart and wise and brave we are and appreciate that more in ourselves. So I really hope that you decide to write a letter to yourself. It doesn't take long, it takes 10 minutes. I type mine out. If you wanna handwrite yours, you can do that too. And just put it in an envelope and put it somewhere safe and open it in a year or five years from now, or 10 years from now, whatever you wanna do. I think it's a wonderful thing to do for yourself. It's a gift, ultimately, that you can give to yourself really easily. And your future self will appreciate it. So whether you are still in high school, just graduated, or you're already in college, I think this is a great exercise to do. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Mwah.